Hi, welcome to Ballistic News. The armed forces of Ukraine strike enemy position on the Kimburn Spit. The liberation operation continues. The operation to liberate the Kimburn Spit from the Russian army continues. As reported by Ukraine Forum, this was reported by the head of the press center of the security and defense forces of OK, Pivdin, Natalia Gumenyuk on the air of the Espresso TV channel. The most important thing is that the operation continues, and we continue to fight against the enemy. We must be aware that premature reports of the release, the separance of the enemy from there can significantly harm my colleague which has breathed a little in connection with the deoccupation of large areas and the pushing of the enemy to a great distance. But this distance can be critical and return fire, Humanyuk said. The head of the press center also added that there is a storm at sea and it does not allow the enemy to gain a good foothold on the Kimburn speed. The sea helps us. The enemy cannot gain a foothold there because the armed forces inflict damage on the enemy's points. The speed does not provide for the location of a large number of buildings where it is possible to gain a foothold on hold on. We allow only the storm to make noise and everyone to observe silence. It should be remembered that the Kimber speed is combined with the temporarily occupied part of the left bank of the Kersan region, and this allows the enemy to raise reserves, Humanyuk said. As reported by Ukraine Farm, the amount of damage caused to the Kimbernska Kosa Reserve in Mykolaiv Oblast due to a fire since the beginning of the war unleashed by Russia is almost 10 billion hryvnias. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.